set to uh, Matt and all the relapse guys because they fucking rule. Give them a round of applause if you guys are into that kind of thing. Uh, this song is called Cheerleader Corpses. Starbelly. Cheers.
This is called Soundtrack to the Worst Movie Ever.
So you guys ready for uh, Today's the Day and High on Fire and Dillinger? This is the first song off our album. It's called Dracula with Glasses. Let's get this fucking place moving. That was for my fiance. I'm getting married in June. Bought a new car yesterday and I'm pretty confident in my decision. But still, the best, most confident decision I've ever made in my life was deciding that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with this person, so. <laughs> this song's called You Will Move. It's off our EP.
Philly, burnt by the sun. Have a good night. Today's the day is up next. We'll see you guys soon. We're coming back to Philly next month, so.
weeks a lot, y'all. It's fucking fun. We'll see you next time around. We'll see you next time. By the way, before we get started, I just have to say fuck you before everything. And then, uh, this blood, this blood calls song from Zion. <laughs>
Next song, this is a new song. You guys ain't heard this yet. It's a bitch in the house, so if I fuck it up, I don't give a fuck. It's called the Cross the Bridge.
was fucking fucked up, but I don't give a fuck. This song, uh, we're all gonna die in nuclear war, so uh, the song's called Hung, Drawn, and Quartered. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm going to the Venom cover. The song's held Witching Hour.
Thank you. We're all on fire. We'll see you later. Bill and Jerry's skate plans up next.
Throw up! 
Everybody give a hand to Relapse for putting this cool thing on tonight. All right. This is off the last EP we just put out with Anthony Kiedis. It's called, oh, when good dogs do bad things. Wild the best you ever had!
I want to say thanks again to everybody for coming. For all the bands that we played with today and the bands that we didn't get to play with and played yesterday. And uh, yeah, just again, thanks for coming, man. So.
to learn It's a pulse to burn Didn't you know Yeah. 
it's no surprise Thank you so much for sticking around.
Thank you. Song's called in Murata. Oh! No. 
Denver? Oh, yeah. We're from Tons River, New Jersey. We're up here from Connecticut. Fucking Holly, New York. Connecticut. We're here from Colorado. Louisville, Kentucky. It's Baltimore. Altoona, Pennsylvania. Richmond. West Philly. North Philly. North Virginia. Louisville, Kentucky, brother. Danville. All oh, the yeah. way from Ohio. Syracuse. Canada. Canada. Oh, yeah. shit with those guys it's good to be here with them man it's like seeing those guys man it's like hub hugs and love and just fucking you know it's fucking great we're happy to fucking be here man we're like you know we got more shit to do and it's like we want to fucking prove strong and like be able to just fucking rock everybody so we'll listen to mastodon right First, most importantly, is the fact that Neurosis is in the house yeah. and about to perform. A band who 15 years ago changed my life. Besides George Jones, Neurosis is the only other band, form of music that's changed my life and put me where I am right here, right today. So it's quite an honor to play right before those guys. That's awesome. what I feel about right now. And every band that's on this bill we've done tours with and are friends with Alabama Thunder Pussy they're alright Cephalic Carnage <laughs> do a record that's an amazing penis is it big? that's the point of that's not really the point it's amazing gotcha it's me it's got, it's got the magic curve it's what he said so we just uh, about five minutes ago dropped off the uh, Alabama Thunder Pussy summer tour <laughs> We just don't get along anymore. <laughs> Care to say a few words about uh, this about weekend? The For uh, some footage? Um, Hand from the W. We're going home tonight because we have jobs and dogs and stuff. And that kind of sucks. I'm very happy to play with all my friends. All my friends who I've known for years are all here. So it's all good. Very cool. But there's friends who are playing tomorrow night as well that I'd like to see, but I can't because I'm going home because I have dogs and jobs. Gotcha. So, you want to be in the video? I just want to give my girlfriend a kiss on film. Kiss on film. <laughs> Our new release, No Reply, is uh, really something to look out for. It's, awesome. I think it, it really stands out in the uh, Relapse catalog. Does it? As, um, I think we're rounding out the, uh, the roster with uh, some really melodic, well-structured uh, death doom songs. Nice. So, 
Is that, is that good enough? Yeah, I would say uh, it's, it's it's you know it's music for people who like dark music. You know, it's uh, it's, it's it's oriented in the dark yet it's still melodic in, in nature. Hmm. Well, first of all, the festival is a great day. Oh. Don't turn me I on like while I'm on camera. Don't turn me on, Doug. <laughs> um, I don't know. The festival is a great idea, and so you got to understand, Relapse has been this important label for however long, and it was great because it's all like there's not one band on here that isn't brilliant. There's not one band on here. It's like, well, I got to sit through them, but then the best band comes on. Everybody is, you know, fucking amazing. This is the first night already we've seen Bongzilla, who are fucking great. Alabama Thunder Pussy, who fucking killed everything. They're just monsters. I've seen them before. Not like tonight. It's very good. And then Mastodon, ridiculous, just like, I don't know what, how, who came up with that. I don't know where their drummer what planet that guy's from. <laughs> Their drummer's got problems. One of the pro <laughs> are, you, are you the drummer? Ridiculous. Oh, thanks, it's amazing. Absolutely. I was blown away. I mean, I was blown away by the record. I'd never seen the last one. Oh, thank you very much. So I was blown away. Awesome. But like I said, I don't know what his problem is. It's insane. <laughs> I don't know about all that. I'm not that close with the guy. But <laughs> And now, of course, we're going to see the band that created all that's good enlightened sound, Neurosis. I mean, what could you ask for that's better? I mean, it's funny. And there really hasn't been a great sort of organization or like a, a, a festival or anything that's got real stuff that's actually coming up. Like the genius. Like maybe maybe some of these bands are going to be huge. Maybe they won't. But they're definitely going to inspire whoever's going to make the, the next big revolution. They're definitely going to be on their playlist when people are asking who are your influences. And I hope that the relapse thing becomes, you know an annual event, because Relapse never puts out anything bad, which is amazing, because there's a lot of great labels out there, like, you know, Man's Ruin and so forth, who put out half great, and then half great, they're like, what the fuck did you sign this for? And Relapse has never done it. I've never, even if I wasn't a fan, like, I wasn't going to listen to it a lot, I've never been disappointed by a Relapse thing, so hopefully the event becomes annual, and every year, and then it becomes big, and hopefully it'll become big, as big as the Ozfest. That would be the dream, wouldn't it? And then tomorrow, you know, today's a day, we a great band, High on Fire, who wrote probably the best and most important record of last year. Nobody knows about it, of course, but it doesn't mean it's not the most important record. Nobody knew about Black Flag when they first came out. Um, and then, who else is on there tomorrow? Pig Destroyer. Who are just, you know, how do you not want to see insanity? I mean, you know, it's just like, I have an idea. Let's go nuts. Let's, let's go inside the mind of Jack Nicholson and The Shining. Pull those two little girls out. Cut them in half. Let them bleed on stage. And call it Pig Destroyer. That'll be great. And uh, who else is on tomorrow? Birth by the Sun. Dillinger. Birth by the Sun. And Dillinger Escape Plan, who are a math problem come to life. I still haven't figured out how that band plays or does whatever. But like, I know, we'll take calculus and we'll tune it down to D. And that'll be fun. And, um... I mean, it's just, there's no band on here that's not brilliant. There's no band on here that hasn't made a giant leap forward in the way music is played and the way music gets done, whether it's like more rock kind of stuff or complicated metal or just straight metal or whatever. So I guess the biggest thing that could come out of this is that it becomes not only annual, but gigantic. And then more and more great bands could play. And then, you know, things like, you know, the Warped Tour and the Ozfest, which have served their purpose and kind of gone the way of the Dodo, uh, will either learn, either they'll learn and they'll bring the bands on that are that great, or they'll just go away and let Relapse step up. But, you know, Relapse is one of the most important labels ever, so for them to do something this great is just awesome. So i got to interject real quick. Mm -hmm. Puny human rules. <laughs> that was very sweet. That's my band. We're not nearly as good as anybody here, but we're not bad. <laughs> we're not great, I don't know, whatever. But uh, anyway, I mean, I guess that's it. It's like you have all of the important bands that are making real differences in music in one place. You have a festival that's amazing. You have somebody standing behind me picking his nose. No, no, I was going for yours. No, don't worry. Anyway, all right, fine. You know what? All the bands suck. Since they want to stand behind me and be funny, they all suck. This is all fucking horseshit. Fuck them. Bring on Africa. Experience. Jesus Christ. There's nothing else to say. How'd you guys enjoy the show? Amazing, as always. What'd, what'd you think of the show? Great. What'd you think of the show? Awesome. Yeah, Drove all the way from Milwaukee. Yeah. You guys think of the show? Yeah. Fucking awesome, dude. Hey, what'd you think of the show? Fucking the roses, dude. What the fuck? I haven't seen them in three years. It's amazing. 
Yeah, I think it went great, man. Fucking uh, sound was awesome. Sound was great. Really good. Uh, it really impressed me a lot. The lighting was ridiculous. I thought they did a really good job with it. Uh, it's in the can, man. I'm uh, pretty excited. It went pretty smooth. Timing was on. was real tight. I mean, all things considered, I think uh, everything went extraordinarily well. And uh, I'm psyched for tomorrow, man. I mean, there's... Uh, there's more yet to go, but, uh, you know, we're 90% in the can. I'm psyched. I'm glad you guys could make it. That was great. It was, uh, it was an amazing, amazing night, man. Yeah. What did you think of Neurosis? I had a, I had a spiritual, a uh, little bit of spiritual devastation, I think. It's probably the best word. Very cool. I, I got about this close to breaking out into tears when I took the stage, so I was... Uh, Oh, it was metal all the way. It was very brutal to be representing Relapse and play a pack show like this in the city of Philly Blunts. <laughs> now it's party time. Wait to see Dillinger tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be wild. Yeah, I haven't got to see him play in like two years, so it should be sick. Last question. I got the fucking van. I ran fucking 32 blocks. And I got the fucking van, and I had to, you know, all that shit, dude. Uh, Alabama Thunder Pussy is my favorite band, and they always rule. Macedon, Neurosis, it was a good night. Yeah, Longzilla. Longzilla. You don't get heavier than that. Exactly. It's hard to say who was the best. Yeah, the sound the crowd, was tight. The crowd was in Philadelphia and all the people that made it, they were the best. Amazing. Amazing. It was great. It was awesome. a great showcase. You guys drive from Richmond? Yeah. Today? Yeah. Yep. And they did a fucking, Matt and Gordon everybody did a fucking awesome job putting this together. Yeah, they did. It was really, really fucking good. Even though, wish it could have went a little You're bit longer. You're as cold as ice. <laughs> and there's You're this guy. You're willing to sacrifice He actually canceled love. the rest of the zombie tour to come out here <laughs> and be with us tonight. To watch it. This is the Astro Creep right here. <laughs> this guy, the Astro Creep. right there. It took a long time Chris, to get his treads out. Bro. I wrote everything Foreigner ever did, dude. Like, <laughs> they owe it all to me. <laughs> they owe it all to me. Uh, overall, I'm just really fucking psyched. Uh, this has been a dream of ours for a really long time, and uh, now it's here, and it's uh, halfway over, and so far, so good. And I'm American, through and through. <laughs> Straight up, dude. <laughs>
can't get into a show if the guitars aren't loud mm. and the, you can't hear the drums and you know it's just like it's just like kind of bathing in the guitar sound and just like you know trying to get wrapped up in what's going on like a big old wetsuit you know? covered with maggots yeah. you just gotta put it on yeah well it was uh, pretty thick tonight it sounded good it's alright I mean it was I, I couldn't hear anything except guitars so you should have been happy it's kind of weird to have monitors, so you got kind of guitars coming from two sides. Like I'm not used to that. Like I'm used to having to stand right in front of cabinets and just, you know, yeah. just like ah, you know. But it was all over stage, so yeah. kind of, we kind of actually slacked off a little bit. I mean, I've been playing since I was seven, so uh, actually joining AC was really good for that, for building up stamina and speed. And I I, learned, I got a lot from that, and I've been pretty much just building it up and keeping it keeping it honed with Pig Destroyer. Gotcha. Not, not, much with, not, not much with agoraphobic because we don't really play live at all. So, yeah. but yeah, actually, I think we've slowed down a lot. <laughs> I think we slowed down a lot. Not intentionally slowing down. Just playing more metal rather gotcha. than grindcore. I mean, I just try to write about you know something that I feel. You know, I, I don't. I, I don't. I don't really look at the world around me and like observe things that much. I mean, I. I guess I try to do that early on, but now it's just like. Trying to find something that I actually feel strongly about. Do you have writing influences? Oh, writing influences? Oh. I just always found that, you know, if I'm going to get on a, on stage and, and scream about something, like I want to scream about something that is mine, you know, it, it, I don't really give a shit, honestly, what, what goes on around me. It doesn't really bother me that much. I just like to try to work out. You know, yeah, problems. he's really not that, that hurt. I'm not that not damaged. Fucked up. So anybody watching this, if you want to bring a cattle carcass to yeah. his lawn, that'd be great. He lives with his parents now too, so that'd be even doubly, you know, plus. Thanks for telling everybody I live with my parents, by the way. <laughs> it's only a minute. <laughs> Basically, it took a year. Like it took a year to do. It was like we had, I had a bunch of different people help me, and I had one guy from Atlanta do one entire video, Chad Rollman, and uh, it was just uh, it took it took a lot of work. I basically worked for. Few, like four months with no days off and then, like finally put everything together and put a cover and like, all that kind of stuff and so it was just it was really intense so it was, yeah it was cool but that's like this is like an extension of like everything in myself because it's more art than, than just trying to like do like a, something I work on so much professional just like bullshit every day that it's kind of it's like really nice to be able to spend time and do something like that. actually for a band that I've been influenced for like it's cool actually to see it on a big screen. South by Southwest. Yeah, um, that crazy March. fest was great. Yeah. Hellfest. seems to be great so far. I didn't play it, but it seems like it's around pretty well. Cockfest. Cockfest was very good, too. Cockfest. <laughs> Jack Big Sack right Dude, here. Dude, he looks like a basted yeah. turkey. He pulls that shit up over his stomach, and it's fucking... It looks like a fucking Thanksgiving turkey, man. All glazed and ready. We're going to start talking about him again. Look, he wouldn't even say that because he knows it's true. Dude, we were on tour one time, and I'm driving, and all these other motherfuckers are sleeping. And Adabat is on the first bench seat behind me, and I look behind me, and he's got his cock out, and he's waving his cock around. I'm like, dude, what the fuck you doing? He goes, oh, I'm airing out my wiener. Uh, he's got a sweaty. John, tell him the story about the wet, about the soft stick. Oh, come on. Tell him, dude. Come on, man. I sh we stayed at some fella's house. Where is that? Uh, Virginia. Virginia. His toilet's broke, he doesn't seem to tell us that it doesn't work, so I take a dump. And it was bad, so I'm like trying to flush it for a half an hour. And I didn't want to, be inconsiderate, I didn't want to leave a dump in his toilet. So I'm trying to get it through. It's sucking, but it's not sucking enough. So I try to... Help it along? Help it along. <laughs> I'm pushing it with my hand. <laughs> if, if 
felt like a wet stick, a <laughs> soft wet stick. And I made this wall of clay. Now nothing was getting through. And to top it off, after a half an hour of that shit on my hand, I looked to wash my hands. There's no soap, no shampoo, no nothing to wash my hands. So I had to wash my hand with 409 oil spray I found. I was like, this is going to have to work. Next, the next morning, though, I didn't feel so bad because there's a pile of shit out of the water, like Cheech and Chong. I was like, this, everyone must be shit and not flush. It was just like a mountain of shit coming out of this kid's toilet. It's because you built a dam, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Last up, and I was uh, proud of, but you know, I'm a considerate guy. <laughs> Not me, I go in the sink and ashtrays and leave it right in there. That's a little... <laughs> oh, yeah. One order of hot snakes coming up. <laughs> continuation of life, you know, and change. It's like 175 shows over the last 13 months. Yeah, we're tired. How's that leave a person? That uh, actually is fun, but uh, it also is totally insane. Like, it tends to be intense to uh, wear a lot on you, you know what I mean? Uh, it's cool, you know. Uh, I had fun today, it was cool. I'm always so critical of myself, you know, because I could always be better in my eyes, but you know, I, I enjoy it. Well, as you know, right now we're preparing um, material, hopefully for a DVD release, and um, we've got a, a mobile uh, unit here that's uh, set up with seven cameras and um, uh, audio recording and uh, a mobile editing room to capture what's going on at the event tonight. And, um, I just want to take you inside and uh, let you see how it's how it comes together and what it really looks like. And uh, awesome. here it is. Let's go. on stage and we have 
a multi-track machine uh, recording everything so we're able to remix it when we do the DVD and all that. Actually two machines, one is a master, the big computer thing you see here, and then these three here are a safety in case anything should happen. Uh, we're making CDs for the label right now so they can review all the material and decide what is going to be on the DVD and that kind of stuff. I mean, compared to like the bigger ones like Milwaukee Metal Fest, I think it's way better. There's less bands, less like so much clutter. It like shows the mixture as well. I mean, you go from a band like High on Fire to a band like Macedon, and Dillinger Escape Plan, and Neurosis, you know. And it just. It's, it's awesome to show that they have, the, within the like genre of heavy music, that they have so many different possibilities that they work with. You know, it's, you know, it's been tough, I have to say. We, I guess we've had like, a string of bad luck. Instead of a string of lies, a string of bad luck. So, But, uh, you know, we flipped in that December thing. And nothing, you know, we could do about it. It was like Mother Nature, you know, fucking winds caused Van Gogh sideways flip. And then the one with the gore tour, you know. There's nothing we can really do about it, but just regroup and do everything like we've been doing, you know? I mean, the injuries kind of delayed some things, but, you know, they've been working on new stuff, and I've been jamming with them recently, so we're trying to get everything going again. So, you know, there's only two things that can come out of it. You're either going to quit it all and say, fuck it, or you're just going to say, you know what, this happened, put it in the past, and we're going to move on and fucking progress. Um, you know, we had recently put out that split seven inch with us and I, it got kind of like through us and everything, and it was a new song, and kind of like the direction we've been going in, you know, and it was like, actually something we recorded as a four piece, and everything else we've always recorded as a five piece. Like this, man. You know, you have to get, you know, blah, 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 you know, you just have to get past that, and that's once you get to know him, pretty good guy. Yeah, you know, yeah, after yeah. all the talking. You know what, though? You'll be here for hours. He's, he's a great guy, He'll too. In bed in the evenings, you know, and he's sucking your dick. He like calls me this and everything. <laughs> hey, man. You know what? You I'm know what's so good, too? I'm he the only person that does. He's I'm the only person that does double ear. Yeah. Two. You and your buddy, remember that time? Two dicks in my ear. Two. Two. I couldn't hear it for a couple of You were a four hole in your right mouth, ass, two ears. That was awesome that night, man. Yeah, I knew you remember that. I one. fucking still feel a little, you know, something, something when I go to the bathroom. Like, yeah. I remember that night. It helps your shit a little better. Than I remember that, that night. You used to have a problem, but after that, you don't have the problem anymore. I remember that night. <laughs> That's a fucking nut, dude. Nut. Those dudes are nuts. Look at Zach. Doesn't he look lovely to see him? I'm gonna go take a piss in Dillinger's dressing room because I need to urinate. I don't want to leave the beer. Don't you touch me there. Relax, relax. Later on. Hey, later on. this is my favorite vocalist in all the world. I'm not kidding. He's the best. He's the shit. You a fool, boy. Nothing. I'm just, man, I'm just happy to see, like, just extreme music keep pushing on because everybody always talks about it's dying and it's fading away. But you see, you go to things like this, and you see that there's so many people still involved in it. I mean, it has it up, it has ups and it's downs, just like rap or anything else that's out there, you know. And it's really good to come to something like this and see that there's so many people still into it, and, there, and like more kids that come out, you know, they're even more into it, and it grows and it grows. More. <laughs> Yeah, the whole thing is basically over, and I uh, have to say that it's turned out even better than I expected. I'm uh, really super excited about it, actually, and um, I can't wait to uh, spend some time and listen to the audio and looking at the video, and uh, I don't know, I, again, I just can't say how happy I am, how everything's turned out. It's more than I expected, and um, I don't know, it's, it's almost overwhelming. It's just really cool, that's all I can say. It's a complete reflection of what we've been trying to do. Um, I'm really proud of uh, our roster and our bands and how this event has turned out. Uh, everything really is, 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 yeah, I don't know, it's kind of come to this point and um, this is something we've wanted to do for a really long time and like I said, it's turned out better than I expected and um, I don't know, I really do think that, that this is capturing a, uh, a moment in time, musically speaking, and 
I'm looking forward to next year and um, I don't know. Awesome. And the DVD. <laughs> we pulled this production together in eight weeks, um, which is unbelievable, especially considering you know we we've been waiting for confirmation from the venue and the bands and everything else and. The idea was there, but we didn't have the final confirmation, and then we pulled the trigger and had to like launch into full-scale attack with print advertising, radio advertising, you know, web promotions, like ticket sales, the whole shebang in a really short order. And considering that how short of order it was, I, I think it turned out great. And actually, I think it turned out to be a little bit larger scale than I expected. There's more people turned away at the door than I thought there would be, and. Uh, no man, I have to have to say I'm just really psyched overall. Yeah. It's really came. I, I'd like. To, I love it when a plan comes together, and this is the best example. Of that. I, I have to say again, it's like our staff has done an excellent job coordinating, especially like Rich and Dean and Gordon and uh, Drew in the mail order department and, and uh, Sarah in the store. And everything has just you know come together and worked perfectly. And uh, I can't. I got to knock on wood again. It's metal. <laughs>